You guys saw a picture of the block of wood, the popsicle stick, and the trim board of the project that I'm working on. And if you didn't immediately know exactly where I was going with this, then buckle up, buddy. Base trim, skirt boards, or whatever you want to call it, is super susceptible to damage. How you attach it makes a huge difference. This gets messed up all the time. Check this out, guys. This is the project I'm working on, and spoiler, that base trim is not holding the chest up off the bench. Trim is trim. It's not structural. It shouldn't have a structural job. Just because it's at the base of the project does not mean that it should be supporting the project. So for example, we'll call this the trim piece and this is the base. We would obviously not want to just attach this to the side and drive some nails or screws through this trim piece. That would cause way too much shear forces and it would stress that joint way too much, it's gonna, it's gonna fail. An obvious solution you might be thinking of is, well, what if we cut a little recess in here and make a rabbit? Then this will sit down in that rabbit and it'll have good compressive strength. But as soon as this thing starts scooting around, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be able to handle the racking forces. A lot of people use glue blocks, but I don't think they're using them the best way. So if we attach a glue block, it's basically little rectangles or triangles of wood that you attach down the trim boards. And then the base is gonna sit down into that. And although that's gonna be fairly well supported, it's transmitting the force to the trim board, which is then your weight bearing structure. If you think about this in like houses, here in America, we build houses with two by fours. Let's pretend these are two by fours. You would not want to have, have a roof of a house tied into the side like this with a bunch of nails and screws, even with blocking underneath it. Because then when that roof is being loaded on, it's stressing that joint. A much more ideal solution would be for this to go directly on top and then tie that together somehow but then the load is going directly through the two by fours down through the wood into the ground, much stronger. So how can we do that for furniture? So still using glue blocks, but not using them in the way that a lot of people are using them. These glue blocks, when glued onto the side trim, are gonna transmit the force directly from the ground up into the chest. But we can do even better than that with the help of a little popsicle stick. The popsicle sticks are super handy, but use whatever you've got laying around. You can make your own things, you know, whatever it is, just make sure they're all equal thickness. So setting the trim board down on top of those popsicle sticks or the spacers or whatever, and then placing the glue blocks, that's gonna give a perfect amount of offset. Just that little amount right there makes all the difference. Of course the glue bond would actually be stronger if that glue block was going in the same grain direction as the trim board, but pine's pretty soft and I want all the compressive strength I can get out of that glue block. Just that shadow line right there is exactly what I'm looking for. I think it looks really good. Here I'm getting ready to glue these things up and you can see in that jar some of the glue that I mixed up and just actually made a video about the glue, which did really well, but man, you would not think that glue would be such a controversial topic, but I guess this is the internet after all. As I paint the glue on these glue blocks, I'm trying to avoid putting glue right on that lower edge that's not gonna be sticking on anything, but I mean, it probably doesn't really matter that much. You put sticky stuff on the wood and you're pretty much good. When I drop the blocks in place, I could just squeeze it in place for a little bit or do both of them, put something heavy on top of it. But I figured I'd just hold it in place with a clamp just to make sure it doesn't move anywhere. And that's that, my buddy. Check it out from this angle. You can see that that gives it a nice little offset. It's gonna protect the trim board. It won't be bumping into anything on the ground, scooting around or breaking off. I'm gonna go ahead and do a full dry fit assembly here to make sure everything's gonna work out just how I think it is. And if you think this is all gonna go smoothly, you may have just a little bit too much faith in me. So for some reason as I'm doing this dry fit, making sure everything fits correctly and stuff, I guess I thought I was just gonna pick up the chest and just lightly lower it into place, but... That's clearly not going to work out. 
So you can watch me struggle with this thing for a second, but hey, it's better to do it now than if there was glue that's trying to dry. If I was actually attaching it with nails and glues and stuff right now, of course I'd just lay the box back on its back, drop this into place, and attach it. But I'm just trying to do the dry fit right now. And it's somewhere about here where I decided to abandon that idea and start using that college education and, you know, make this a little bit easier on myself. And that's more like it. I want to get everything hugged up nice and tight. And not quite. There we go. In the center of that long rail right there, I am going to put some regular glue blocks that don't go all the way down to the bottom. And I gotta say, I think it looks pretty clean. It's gonna look really good once I get the final planing and sanding all done. A little check here with the glue stick, or with the popsicle stick, to make sure that no pressure is actually coming up through the trim. And as a side benefit, when you're scooting this around, no pressure on the trim. Another option and or option you can do it in combination with these glue blocks is strips of wood on the bottom of the chest that it's sitting down onto the ground on. But in either case, the trim should be elevated. It's along for the ride, but it's not holding the chest up. This is a one man show. So I appreciate any support, likes, comments, subscribes. And if you really wanna go above and beyond, I just launched a Patreon page. So you can go on over there and donate if you really feel like it. All the coves I cut with this simple molding plane, a day in the shop, this thing works like a charm. If you wanna see how to make it, check out this video next.